When you've said all there is to know about low carb living, should you stop talking about it or should you keep talking about it? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat vlog discussion. And uh, this uh, crossed my mind a lot um, <clears throat> because the answer for low carb keto carnivore living is, is really one thing. It's don't raise your blood sugar. But, and you know, I've even thought about, you know, there's nothing else to say. I've said it all. But that's not necessarily the case. Um, we feel that um, we should keep talking about it until everybody gets it. Um, but there are a few reasons, a uh, few other reasons why we want to keep talking about it. Number one is that um, <clears throat> it keeps us on our toes as well. Um, by continually talking about it, putting myself in front of a camera and putting myself out for public consumption helps keep me in check. Um, and also, there's always uh, new people getting uh, you know, curious about the low-carb keto carnivore world, and by putting out you know regular content, that increases the likelihood that someone out there will find it. And I think if I could just help one person, one um, that that hasn't found the other better, I guess, mainstream or popular low-carb guys, I still think it's important to talk to the the average person who's uh, dealing with this stuff and not necessarily hyped or commercialized in any way. <clears throat> Another thing is that, you, you know, even though you think you run out of things to talk about with low-carb, you find things over time that are worth talking about. For instance, like recently I, I made a, a discovery that uh, eating anything sweet, even if it's uh, not blood sugar raising, is not a good thing. I think it's it has negative impacts and that, that was something I wanted to share that was relatively new to the low carb mindset. And also, you know, one of the most important things to talk about is the any kind of um, problems you may have, uh, you know, roadblocks and and maybe some cheats and and how to how to deal with the the problems you uh, encountered you know going low carb because um, it's not as easy as it sounds you know I make it sound easy oh, just don't raise your blood sugar but uh, there's temptation everywhere and you know you learn new things about you know for instance vegetables vegetables that they say are are good but uh, some may argue that they're not as as good as you think they are and Lastly, I think um, talking about the new things that are coming in and invading the low-carb space, uh, in particular, one I can mention is these uh, cauliflower. Cauliflower bread was one of the, the low-carb um, uh, discoveries back in the day, and now uh, cauliflower is invading everything, and it's not low-carb, but people may need to be told that, and they're still not reading the nutrition facts on the back of the packaging to realize that it's it's just it'll knock you out of ketosis and not be good for weight loss at all. In fact, in some cases it may be worse because you're going to eat more of it thinking that it's uh, uh, harmless. So that's it. These are some things uh, that we that keep us going and we'll you know always talk about low carb until everybody gets in. It. It's no longer a problem and our supermarkets are smaller and just filled with meat and other uh, low sugar things. See you next video. Please hit the like and the subscribe if you can. I have a whole bunch of stuff coming uh, three videos a week and thank you for watching.